Hello friends. Welcome to Knowledge Quotient. Today we are going to create an animation in Scratch, a block-based programming language. If you are new to my channel and you want to know what is Scratch and what is a block-based programming language, I will attach my previous video where I had demonstrated all the basic details about Scratch in the description box. Kindly go through that. Here is a small glimpse that we are going to create. Before getting into the project, kindly subscribe to my channel, Knowledge Quotient, and press the bell icon for further updates. Let's get begin now. So, today we are going to create a maze game. It is a multi-level game. First, we need a welcome page, you can either paint the background, like what I did in my project, or select any backdrop from the scratch library. Here, we need three mazes, first one very easy, the next one medium easy, and the last one is very challenging. We need two other backdrops, one when sprite will lose in between the game, and another one when sprite will complete all the levels. Open Scratch Editor and then select any sprite. First we will make the sprite move, but when we will press on key then only the character will move. Here I have taken the right, left, up, and down keys of the keyboard. So, when I will press any above mentioned keys, then the sprite will move accordingly. We need to set the position of the sprite so that we can check our code. Same code we will do for left key, the only difference is to give negative x value since sprite will go backward of current position. For the up and down key, we can duplicate code and can do necessary changes, like for up and down key we need to change y value, for up key we should have positive value, and for down get, the value should be negative. Now, take all the backdrops which are needed for this project like, welcome page, all the three level mazes, end screen, and when sprite fails to complete the level, try again page.
We will start with level 1. Set the position of the sprite, when he will enter. We need to reduce the size of the sprite, so, take the set size block from the looks palette and give the size of the sprite when he will enter is level 1. Now we will put a conditional statement that, if the sprite will touch the black grid then, the sprite will move back which means, if the sprite is moving in a positive direction then when he touches the grid he will pull back and vice versa. So, here we need 4 conditional statements for up, down, right, and left. In level 1, when the sprite will touch the color box then the next level should start. That's why we need to change the background and according to the level 2 maze configuration, we need to change the size, position of the sprite. In level 2, we will add some challenges, that's why I have taken another sprite, which will act as an obstacle. We need to code in such a way that it will move from one place to another. Here, the glide block we will use for the motion of obstacle.
We just need to set the positions from where the sprite will move to which position. Here we need a broadcast message named level 2 so that when there will a broadcast message, the sprite will appear or disappear accordingly. In level 2, when the cat will touch the color box then level 3 should begin, therefore we will repeat the same code. In level 3 further, adjust the position, size of the sprite according to level 3 maze arrangement. In level 3 we will add some more challenges, here for level 3, I have taken two obstacles, we can take as many as we want. Like the previous one, we will make the obstacles from one place to another in the glide block. In level 3, when the sprite cat will touch the color box then, the conquering wallpaper should be visible. So set the background accordingly. Here. Here, we need a broadcast block to hide or show the sprite.
we have to set a condition, if the cat will touch any of the three obstacles at any stage or level then he can't move further and it should be game over promptly. All the cosmetic changes like in which level which old sprite or wallpaper will be visible or hide etc will be done now. Now, let us execute our program and check all the blocks are working as per our instructions or not. Mm -hmm. 